oppose the mentor teacher program here at uh, Western Way, and I'll vote no. And okay. I think it's an unnecessary expenditure. It's the law, though, isn't it? I think it's the law. It is. The state requires that the new teacher have a mentor. So. There was uh, there was discussion last August about this, and uh, I agreed with those comments and sentiments at that time, as I do now. Good. Any other questions or comments? All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, no. No. Any abstaining? The ayes have it by a vote of six yes and two no, I believe. Am I correct? Mr. Lindo and Mr. Cabenzi. Mm -hmm. Item 34I, please. I recommend the Board of Education appoint Dr. Frank Morrow and Nathan Rizek as district physicians for the 2015-16 school year. <coughs> Duties are defined per Pennsylvania school code for district policy as duly licensed by the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania Department of Health and in compliance with Acts 24, 34, 151, 114 guidelines as follows. And this is for mandated physicals for grades kindergarten, 6 and 11, and sports physicals at a rate of $20 per physical for the 2015-16 school year, and also coverage uh, for home football games. I'll second the motion. <coughs> the motion has been made and seconded. Are there any questions or comments? Just I want to just thank Dr. Like Lico, I'm sorry, for procuring this yeah, service. For these services, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Ms. Foote? I would just like to say that even though this is mandated physicals, uh, parents or guardians still have the right to have those physicals done by their own family physician or whoever they choose. It just has to be well documented and sent into the school that the physical was done. Thank you. I'd just like to echo Mr. McDonough's sentiments that we have uh, taxpayers that are doctors uh, getting the service as opposed to uh, we had for years outside uh, residents that were, that were taking care of this. So at least we have people that are part of our tax base that are uh, providing services for our children. I think that's important. And these are active positions. Uh, the last person we had was a retired physician up in her age, and, and it was a little overwhelming for her, the football game part of it and all that, and it, uh, it made it tough. So. This is a good thing. And he is a taxpayer, a local person up in our neighborhood. That question. Are there others? Other questions or comments? All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, no. Any abstaining? The ayes have it unanimously. Item 34J, <coughs> please. I recommend that the Board of Education approve the following to the list of volunteers Carl Rose, Junior Heights, Soft Law. Second. The motion has been made and seconded. Are there any questions or comments? All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, no. <coughs> any abstaining? The ayes have it unanimously. Item 35 includes informational items for your information. Uh, PSSA science testing, fourth and eighth grade, started today continues tomorrow. The Junior Senior Prom was held this past <laughs> Saturday, May 2nd, at 5 p.m. at Rador Lodge. AP testing again today through the 12th in the boardroom at the district office. High School Spring Concert Art Show and Academic Fair will be this coming Saturday, May 9th, from 1 to 5 p.m. in the high school gymnasium and auditorium areas. The 6th grade band spring concert, May 12th at 7 p.m. in the high school auditorium. 7th and 8th grade band jazz band concert, May 13th at 7 p.m. in the high school auditorium. Any IU reading competition will be held May 14th at the high school middle school complex, beginning at 3.30 p.m. through 9 p.m. The middle school chorus concert will be May 15th at 7 p.m. in the high school auditorium. National Honor Society induction ceremony will be held May 20th at 7 p.m. in the high school. The Keystone exams will be held May 19th and through June 3rd. And Varsity Club Banquet will be May 27th at 6 p.m. at Lador Pavilion in Waymark. In June, we will have the Senior Awards Night, June 9th at 7 p.m. in the auditorium. Senior Class Day, June 16th. 
Senior class graduation practice, June 17th, 18th, and 19th. The last day of school will be June 19th. And teacher in-service will be June 22nd from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. Uh, student teacher intern from Marywood University will have Caitlin Carney. She will be inter intern in the high school with Mr. Fitzsimmons throughout the fall of 2015. Do we have any correspondence at this time? No, Mr. President. Are there any questions regarding the superintendent's report? Assistant superintendent report? Principal's report? Is there anything to report uh, regarding federal programs? No, Mr. President. Thank you. Uh, under other business, uh, there are two topics that this board has open. Uh, one, we had discussed uh, procuring presentations regarding advertising uh, at district events and such. Uh, would you like us to uh, set a couple presentations up for our June work session? Is the entire board in favor of that in order that we can see what our options are? At this point, we've spoken to two agencies, and we'll try to get those two back to do a formal presentation. Uh, and if uh, feasible, we'll try and involve one other third party. I don't know that we can or not, but let's see what we can do there. And then uh, each of the board members uh, were handed out a packet regarding Mr. Pudenai's resignation and our obligation to fill that seat. Uh, basically, we have 30 days from the uh, date the resignation ex is accepted, which of course was this evening. Uh, so we will uh, address that at our next session also. If any of you have questions or comments regarding that, I'd ask that you uh, direct them to Dr. Laco. Uh, with any questions regarding the process, and if you want to talk about it one-on-one uh, -on -one or as a group, one-on-one um, -on -one is fine. If you want to get the group together, let us know and we can set up uh, possibly that we come in early for one of our scheduled meetings <coughs> rather than bring everybody out for another night also. So put some thought into that. And then uh, we will also, uh, of course, we, we assume the two candidates running for that position are interested. Uh, but I would also encourage members of the uh, public, if there's anyone else out there that would be uh, interested in uh, holding that seat, that they submit a letter of interest to the district as well, and that should be addressed to the district office attention, Dr. Lacombe. That's just for that district, though, right? That would be just for, re yeah, they would have to, because we are region, they would have to be region one, correct. So they'd have to live in Waymark, Clinton Township, McKinney Township. In my feeling in Region 1, and I, I stated at a work session, that if one of the two candidates running for the office wins outright, wins both the Republican and Democratic nod, I think, um, we should bring them on because they would be coming on in December anyway. Uh, Mr. Gadenzi made a good point, as Al just uh, stated, that if anybody knows anybody else out there, because if they split, they go one wins a Democrat, one wins a Republican, it wouldn't be fair to bring one of them on. Uh, prior to the November election, so then therefore maybe we need we would need somebody. The only problem is somebody filling in is just going to be getting their feet wet, and by the time they get them, they start getting a feel for this. It's going to be time for them to get off the board. But but anyway, it's a situation we're in, and and, uh, and that's what I'd like to do first. If one of them went out right. And, and again, the process is that if this board does not appoint someone, the courts will. Uh, so in in within the 30-day period, we need to establish just what our direction is, and then we'll go from there. Uh, we do have several meetings scheduled. Uh, our future meetings, June 3rd. The board committee meeting will be here in the district boardroom beginning at 6 p.m. On June 8th is our next public board meeting, and that'll be held here in the district boardroom. On June 24th, we have set a, a date of June 24th to have our final adoption of the budget. That gives us as much time as possible to get information from the state and our vendors and such so that we have exact numbers on our budget and yet still gives the business office uh, time to file the proper paperwork with the state before the end of the month. Uh, and our intent is to be on time with that budget. Uh, regarding meetings that were held on April 15th at 6.30 p.m., board committee meeting was held for negotiations with the uh, WWESP. 
On April 22nd at 6 p.m., a special meeting was held for general purposes and the presentation of the narrative budget. On April 27th at 6.30, a board committee meeting was held for negotiations with the WWEA. On April 29th at 6 p.m., a board committee meeting was held here in the district boardroom. And on April 29th at 7.30 p.m., we held an executive session for personnel and legal matters immediately following that committee meeting. I just have a request, Mr. President, um, that we advertise for this uh, opening in Region 1, in, uh, either the Wayne Independent and on our website, because I think we need to have a transparent um, process with this. I think we'll check the legality of that. I don't know if we're allowed to advertise, but if we are, we can certainly do that. I mean, outside of the people in this room that Public announcement can be made, and I'm sure it will be in the newspaper, so... Well, I'm, I'm not confident in that, because... There's no coverage, but again, I just want to make sure that the people know that there is a yeah. seat and we are looking for applicants. Okay, so noted. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Any other questions or uh, comments? I just have one comment um, for the board. Uh, the policy committee met today and we wanted to see what everyone's interest was, if any, um, on the pay to play, if we wanted to get somebody and speak with them or not, and if so, great, we'll get something set up. If not, we don't want to waste Pat's time. So we just wanted to see what your thoughts were. Uh, I'm not in for pay for play, no. Yeah, and I, I don't know that we're at that point yet, and I think uh, one of the hardest things to evaluate there is the balance between intensity of, you know, funding and sport. Well, um, we just wanted to know, so if yeah, Pat waste his time. Yeah. Good, thanks. I agree with Donnie as well. I'd like to see some self-funding, but I don't know the pay-to-play is the ticket. Great, okay. thanks. I wanted to give a pause to the uh, reading competition, which is held on the 14th. Uh, many of the schools in the Northeastern Education immediately send uh, high school and middle school students to this build, to our two building. I believe this is our sixth year, maybe, fifth or sixth year hosting it. Uh, there will be several hundred students here, and it's really a celebration of reading. They have read, and teams have read, uh, by dividing them up, about 40 books. Can you believe that? 40 books. And the teams are asked questions about the, the books, and competition is it's a great time. Uh, and, you know, if you have a chance to come and see it, uh, please do. Thank you. Are there others? I'd just like to congratulate our. Uh, our track and field team, they did a very good job with Jordan Williams, as well as Coach Collins and the staff for his years of service. This program is uh, excellent, it's thriving, and the results are uh, astronomical. So congratulations to all of them. Thank you. Any others? Hearing none, do we have a motion for adjournment? So moved. Second. Third. Hey, I have, I have, I think it was Mr. Lindo over here. Yeah. <coughs> all right. Second by Mr. McDonough. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, no. We are adjourned. Thank you, everyone.